man out was best man Colin Hicks, and then came his brother, the bridegroom himself, fabulous Tommy Steele. Between two and three thousand ecstatic fans gave the rock and roll idol the show business welcome of the year. Tommy Steele was getting married. Except Soho Square, there wasn't a square in sight. There in force was the entertainment world. Army Games Harry Fowler arrived. And then Andrew Ray and his wife. Sydney James, where's Ancott? And taking up her share of Soho Square, Hattie Jakes. And now the bride. Tommy's choice was the former Windmill Theatre girl, 23-year-old Anne Donahue. She is a Roman Catholic, and though Tommy isn't, special dispensation had been given for them to marry at St. Patrick's Soho Square. For Anne, it was a white wedding. Father Bebb made them man and wife. It was a friendly marriage service, a blend of the solemn and informal. Tommy and Anne now made their way to the vestry to sign the register. Meanwhile, more fans than ever were pressing round the church door to give a reception such as not even Tommy Steele had known before. That was the first kiss outside the church. It was their big day and Tommy and Anne were enjoying every second of it. There was no hurry, but if they were going to get away, the Bobbies would have to help. They did. So, it was the Savoy next stop. A proper do and all the trimmings, mate, was what Tommy promised the 300 guests. And Jimmy Edwards and all the rest reveled in the fun. Scores of times they toasted the health and happiness of the newlyweds. And so say all of us.